हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दीक्षा कर्नाटक यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप ऑल ऑफ डूइंग गुड एज प्रॉमिस्ड आई एम हियर विद सेशन नंबर वन फॉर योर डी कोड एन फॉर मैथमेटिक्स विच हैज अ चैप्टर रिलेशन एंड फंक्शन ओके सो आई टेल यू व्हाट टू डू इन द एन सी आर टी वट आर द इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मुलाज विच इज देर मीन्स हाउ कैन यू नो ऑप्टिमाइज योर टाइम इन द प्रिपरेशन इन द रिविजन ऑफ द बेसिक्स फ्रॉम द एन पार्ट फॉर द चैप्टर रिलेशन एंड फंक्शन मीन्स यू कैन जस्ट आई हैव गिवन यू द क्वेश्चन लिस्ट द एग्जाम्पल्स टू सॉल्व द डेफिनेशन टू रीड एवरीथिंग विल बी डिस्कस इन दिस Short session only, बच्चा. Okay. Again, I'll not be teaching you things. I'll let you know from where to read, what to read. Okay. If you want to know the teachings and you know learn uh, the concepts also, I have done the sessions, बच्चा. Check out my case study series. This chapter is explained in detail. So, for example, you are struggling this chapter, right? It's it can happen to anyone. Go ahead, check my videos for this particular chapter in the playlist for mathematics in case study series on the same channel available for completely free Diksha Karnataka YouTube channel. Okay. I hope this is clear. Now, if you check. Again, the chapter name you know now. Relation and functions. Have a look. So coming up first, bacha. So if you check this out, coming up for you is what we have. So the chapter again, uh, the basic introduction is there, bacha. Then you have to uh, read the definition. In what the question is coming from this MCQs and other section also types of relations. Okay, means you have the definitions. But definition one is on empty relation. The subset relation you should also know that R should be equal to phi when A is a subset of uh, sorry from A cross A. Okay, so R should be a phi. Phi means what? A null set, right? So empty relation. Same way we have definition two for universal relation and this very very important. I've seen a MCQ in your previous few questions. Both the relations can be called as trivial relations. So I have done a question on that as well. So very important to do this third one. Where the question is coming the most of the times is from equivalent relation, the relation of what transitive, symmetric, and reflexive. So you have to prove all the three to get what to get the relation for equivalence, right? So A R A is there, A R B B R A is there, A R B B R uh, C, then A R C is there, right? So you can check this out. This difference are very very important. You have to write this relation A R A. Check this out. Over here we have A R B. ओके इन दिस ए ओवर हियर दे हैव टेकन एज ए1 ए2 ओके सो ए1 आर ए2 और ए2 आर ए1 व्हाट इज दिस ए1 आर ए2 एंड दिस इज ए2 आर ए1 राइट ओवर हियर ए1 आर ए2 ए2 आर ए3 एंड दिस इज ए1 आर ए3 आई हैव टॉट यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए आर बी बी आर सी बट हियर दे हैव टेकन ए1 ए2 एनीथिंग इज फाइन बच्चा ओके चलिए Now, if you look at this definition number four, again I said when can we call a uh, uh, relation to be similar, uh, equivalence when you have all the three valid. So questions are coming in this category for all of it, whether in MCQ or you have to prove a three marker. Everything is coming, which is very very important. They'll give you questions. So I've listed the question also. I'll show you the list of the questions that you can solve to practice this concept. Okay. So if you check, acha one more thing, my request is there. Do not miss out on solved examples. Reason being, solved examples are very less. Uh, and they have given the solutions already again if you solve them at least then you have grasp of all the concepts so please do not miss out on solve example based, whether it is from business category or normal category both you have to solve without fail so solve example is clear okay have a look example number 2 uh, you have to do this bachcha okay uh, what it says let t be the set of triangles uh, in a plane uh, with r a relation in t given by r equals to t1 t2 uh, is to t1 is congruent to t2 okay Miss T1 and T2 is what, bacha? Is the you know uh, is the ordered pair, right? T1 and T2 is ordered pair where T1 is congruent to T2. Okay, so to check whether this is a equivalent relation or not, please have a look. Okay, so solve the question number two. Moving on, example number five also have to do, bacha? Example two I have done. I have marked over here example number five. Please do this again. Practice of some questions. So on the concepts. That we have in the types of relations. Okay, चलिए. Now next what I have taken here is. Exercise questions. So I've, as I said, I have made a list of these questions. What you can do, just get this PDF and you know have the list to solve these questions. If you solve this and learn the definition, that will be more than enough from this chapter. Okay, basics will be clear. Chaliye. So this is good enough for your board, bacha. Relation R. So question number one, sub question five. It has four categories, right? Question number sub question five. We have four A B C D E. So it's in A B C D E is there. So question number one sub category five is there. You have to do all the five. Okay. Question number two. ओके अगेन फ्रॉम द एक्सरसाइज नंबर वन वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर एट नाइन एंड टेन इज वेल बच्चा ओके एंड वी हैव ट्वेल्व वी हैव फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन इज वेल हैव अ लुक फिफ्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन इज वेल अगेन यू हैव टू चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन दिस इज अ एमसीक्यू राइट बोथ फिफ्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन इज एमसीक्यू एमसीक्यू आई मीन वट एवर इज क्वेश्चन गिवन इन एन सी एन सी आर टी एमसीक्यू यू कॉन्ट मिस दैट ऑल द एमसीक्यूज एन एन सी आर टी गिवन ओनली फ्यू राइट प्लीज विदाउट मिसिंग विद हाउ एवर सिंपल यू फील दिस इज You solve it anyway because if the question comes directly, then you will be able to get this one marks very easily. Okay, so please make sure that you don't miss out on NCERT uh, MCQs. Okay, question number twelve is there. Okay, 
चलिए अगेन दिस इज अ रिलेशन ऑफ वॉट बच्चा फॉर ऑल ट्राइंगल्स ओके सेम थिंग दर ट्राइंगल नो सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल टी टू वॉट इज टी वन को मैं टी टू रिप्रेजेंट्स और अगेन बच्चा ऑर्डेड पेयर ओके ऑर्डेड पेयर वेर टी वन एंड टी टू इज पार्ट ऑफ द सेट ए I've done these kind of questions, okay? In my Brahmastra series, in my Kesat series, the questions are a bit done. So don't worry about the questions. Just make sure that you are getting this list of problems and solving them all, okay? Chaliye. Now moving on, we have question number 15 also from the same exercise. Question number 16 as well as I already told you. Next we have which are type of functions in that we have injective function or one one function. We have on two subjective or bijection one one and on two. Okay. Then we have many one into is also there. So definition you should know and you should also know the graphical approach. Both of them. Why graphical approach, sir? Because in MCQ you no know, you don't have to solve the question. If you know the graph, na no, simply you can get the answer. Okay. Mod x, sir. Many one. Two point of intersection with with the line parallel to x-axis. Okay, so like that. Y equal to x, one one, right? Whether on two or not. Again, so if you do uh, the co-domain and the range is not matching, then it is not on two. If it is matching, then on two, bacha. Okay. So I have taught you all of this. I have taught you the concepts. I please go ahead and check my regular sessions in Brahmastra series and in the Kesat series to learn these concepts. But if you have already learnt it, you want to know just revision what to do in NCERT in short time. I have highlighted over here. So please make sure that you are learning all the definitions of types of functions. We have one one or injective. We have many one. This is just opposite of one one, right? And then we have bacha. On two also we have surjective and opposite of this is into sir. This graphs are very important, bacha. This graphs are very very important. Have a look. Okay, these graphs are very very important. All four. Correct now. Can this be uh, can this be bacha many one? It's one one okay, but not on two because you can check here. The co-domain and range are not equal. Co-domain is A B C D E F, where range is only A B C D, so not on two. What about this? Many one, na, sir, not one one. Okay. What about this? Also not one one. Okay. What about this? One one and on two. Please check this out. The co-domain A B C D is equal to the range, na? What is the range? The image of the elements in the set A. Set A or X one, if you see here, what is the image of these elements? A B C D. That is called that is called what, bacha? Range and range is equal to codomain. What is codomain, sir? The set X4. So A B C D will be the codomain also. So range and codomain are equal. It means on to what about one one? Each element in the first set has uniquely relation with the element in second set. So one one is also there. So this is going to be F4 is a bijection or bijective function because it is one one and on to. So graph has to be explained very clearly because this makes sense to you and you can you know get questions to be solved quickly if you know the graph approach. Okay, so very very important to know all these graphs. Please go ahead and give analysis of all these graphs. Okay, spend some time in it. Solve some more questions if you can. Okay, चलिए. Now we have. Uh, so again definition over here you can check this. One on one two is called bijection. I've already taught you this. Taught you this. When you do both combination is true, when both combination is existing, one one on two is bijective, which is very important to solve any question in inverse, right? How can you find inverse? The function is invertible only if it is a bijective function. If it is not bijective, then you can't inverse it, right? So to prove or to find inverse, you need to know the function is bijective or not, and how you do that by using the algebraic approach, which is there, right? In definition, please go ahead and check it. You don't have to use graphical approach there because you have to solve it, na? To inverse, you have to solve it. You have to show that it is one one and on two. How you do that using the algebraic approach only? So to, you have both the approach. Is graphical is good, but you have to show. Graphical is good for MCQs where you don't have to show your work, okay? Where you reach the conclusion quickly. Graphical is good enough, but for subjective uh, question you have to uh, show the answers. So you have to show the algebraic approach, bacha, to prove the bijection. Is that clear? I hope this is clear. Chaliye. So uh, bijection is clear. Now example number seven you have to solve, okay? Again example number eight is there. Please check example number eight, example number seven, example number nine. Sir, all the examples. Yes, bacha. I told you na. Example don't miss, okay? Even if I miss something, don't miss. Example ten, example eleven, example nine was on bacha what? Y equal to x function. Okay, y equal to two x function. Check this out. Is it one one on two not? Yes, sir. One one means only one point of intersection. On two, sir. Yes, bacha. All the all the real numbers are range and codomain. All the real numbers are range and see what is the codomain, sir? R, right? So codomain is R, and what is the range, sir? All real numbers, na? What are the value of y over is? Every point is a value of y, sir. Every point will have all y values from negative to positive. Means range is all all real, and codomain is also all real. So on to one one because any point of intersection you check with the graph is going to be only one. For one line parallel to x-axis, you'll have only one point of intersection. It means for each x you have individual and unique y. It means one one. As I said, graphical will help you reach the answer quickly. Know both the approaches. Okay. 
graphical approach to solve question so question number 9 on a linear function question number 10 is there okay defined for domain is natural and range is, sorry quote domain is also natural okay Actually, so uh, this is a quadratic function which y equal to x square symmetric about y axis y equal to x square symmetric about y axis is it 1 1 no so line parallel to x axis will have only one point of intersection okay only one point of intersection so not 1 1 okay uh, please check not 1 1 actually great but if you divide in two parts then it will be 1 1 but but if you come consider together then it will not be 1 1 have a look so neither 1 1 nor on 2 okay why not on to sir there is no negative value na we defined here codomain is all real na and what is the range range is only positive sir check here range is zero and positive why values for the graph zero and positive but the codomain sir all real are they equal no bacha that means not on to not on to if i have written over here r plus na if there was a r plus over here if there was a r plus over here then good then you don't have to you know uh, then the co it will be on to function but it is only r Okay, not even R plus is also not going to be right because you'll have a zero left out over here. If you write only R plus, zero is not part of R plus, right? Zero is not part of R plus. If you write here R minus R, R negative of R minus, then uh, it will be onto. But right now, even at R plus or R, not an onto function because it's going to be only uh, the negative answer part of the real number set is not in the uh, range. Is not in the range. Okay. I hope this is clear. Example twelve also resolve. Example twelve also have to solve. Please check here. Defined like this for odd for even. Okay, defined like this. Question is solved over here. Please check example 13 also. Please solve 14 also. You solve. Okay, exercise, exercise 1.2 on the types of function. Question number one is there, but please solve question number one. Then question number four and five. Question number eight. Question number nine. We have similar question was there in examples also. Okay, uh, this also is there. Please solve it. Example number uh, question number eight. You have to show that it is a bijection. Okay. It's a bijection you have to show. Okay, eight is there, nine is there, ten is there. Okay, yeah, ten is there, eleven is there, twelve is there. Okay, then yeah. So in the size number eleven point two. Okay, size number one point two. Sorry, you have to solve all these questions. Have a look. Question number one. Question number four five. Uh, question number eight. Question number nine. Question number ten. Question number eleven. Question number twelve. Okay, again last two are. MCQs only, so I have said don't miss out on any MCQs from NCRT. Chali. Moving on to the last part, which is composite function, right? Fog and Goff, yeah, you have to know how to apply them because uh, you have to solve uh, inverse, sometimes we use it, okay, that's why very, very important. Chali. So, this function, how we apply Goff and Fog, so know the definitions, okay? So, in the Goff, no, the fx becomes the domain, butcher, right? The fx becomes the domain, okay? Chali. Now, example 15, 16. You have a definition 9, 9, okay, for ix and iy, okay, for invertible function, inverse of a function, how you find it out, first you have to prove the it is bijective function, then go for the inverse, so definition number 9 is important, example number 17, example number 18, okay, miscellaneous examples are there, example 19, 20, sir, you have written all the questions, yes, bacha. but you can see, I still try to, you know, make this work effective for you, it's, a, it's not a small chapter, it's going to be a very good chapter for you, and it, 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 it gives you confidence going in the uh, other chapter, which has, which has algebraic ap application into it, so that's why very, very important chapter, chapter number one, do it in a very good manner, simple, simple concepts, get your marks, okay, tell you, 21 is there, 22, uh, 23, 24, okay, and uh, example, this was also example only, please check this out, and exercise if you check here uh, question number one question number two for the mixture exercise and you have question number five also but question number one two and question number five is also there have a look question four and five is there uh, you have to solve both of them okay one two four five okay uh, then question number six and question number seven question number six and question number seven don't worry get this pdf okay and uh, once you get this you can get the list of questions and concept to revise after you're done with this i'm telling you after you're done with this you have to do only one thing and what is that you have to do the pyqs bacha of your boards once you're done with that you are prepared for this particular chapter that's more than enough okay but but you have to be comfortable in solving the question means for example i'm somebody solving these questions or solving my pyqs and getting stuck all the time then i'm not prepared I should be able to solve the questions naturally. When I'm able to do, when I'm able to do this part, it means I'm prepared. How to check that you're prepared? First of all, 
revise the NCRT. I have given you over here. I have decoded for you how to you know invest your time in the NCRT, how to optimize your time in the NCRT. Once that part is done, once this is done, you are you know very thorough in this. What you have to do? Go ahead and solve the PYQs. Where to solve, sir? I have done in the Brahmastra series. In the Brahmastra series, I have done the PYQs. But go ahead and solve the PYQs from Brahmastra series. Once you are able to solve all the questions, you I hope you have the sessions PDF. If you don't have, join the WhatsApp channel. Uh, you'll get the sessions PDF in the WhatsApp channel only. Okay, so please go ahead and join the WhatsApp channel. Link is given in the video description. Go ahead, check it out. Get the sessions PDF. Solve those questions. If you can solve those questions before, you know, without any much effort, it means you are able to understand the concept very much clearly. Then you can say, tick mark, the chapter is over, sir. Got it? And I will always keep the questions list, bachcha. Why questions list, sir? At the end of the chapter, keep a question list from the PYQ section. How come, sir? When you're revising, again, before the examination, you can just have a look at these questions and, and try to solve a couple of them. If you're able to, you know, feel good in the chapter, move on and go to the next chapter, bachcha. Okay? So, question list is very, very important. Question list is very, very, very important. I hope this is clear. So, NCRT decoded, get the sessions PDF, revise it like this and same way, I'll keep coming for other sessions as well. Any other doubt you have, let me know in the sessions, uh, comment, okay, whatever the doubt is you, you're having, whatever you want from my side, whatever I can do the best for you, I'll try my best bacha from my side without any fail, you know that. We are committed to do the work for all of you, right? I hope there's no doubt in this session. Small chapter, not difficult, but yes, weightage is there. You have to uh, solve the questions again and uh, to be confident and to be able to solve all the questions in the exams as well. I hope this is clear, okay? So uh, with this, I'm gonna end the session. Uh, I hope you have already subscribed to the channel, but if you have not, we are doing very good work here, right? And everything is available for free, butcher. So if you are here, if you are, you know, uh, on a platform, Please subscribe the channel, okay? Uh, it gives us, you know, motivation to work hard and encouragement to come up with good and good sessions. You have seen us. We are committed. We don't, you know, care about other things. We are only caring about our students, our bacha party. Nothing else matters to us. We are here to deliver for all of you at any cost that we can do, okay? So that is it. Anything you want from us, let us know in the comment section. This is it for, uh, for now. Actually, one more thing. Uh, I, as I said, how to ensure you are prepared? First thing is decode NCRT. Go through these questions. Feel comfortable in these questions. Solve PYQs. Feel comfortable in PYQs also. Once you're done with both the parts, write mocks, bacha. Write mocks from wherever you want to. Write mocks. Whatever things are available to you uh, at whatever cost, write it down. But if you don't have anything, we also have a mock test series going on called as PU2 Success Blueprint Test Series available on our platform. A lot of sessions will be there. Link will be also given. Don't worry about that. So link, you can check this out in the sessions vi uh, video only. Uh, description, you'll find the link. Go ahead, check the link out. Purchase that mock test. It'll be very, very, you know, uh, very useful to all of you. So please purchase the test, uh, test, test mock. And once you are able to finish the chapters, write the mocks. So how that is going to be work? Because bacha, what happens is we also have part test in it. First four are part test bacha. What is mean by that means? So uh, you'll have PCM in it. So syllabus will be given. So wherever the syllabus that you have covered is there, finish the chapters first, finish that mock first and then move on to a full length uh, test series also there. So we have first four as part test. Then you have last eight as subject wise syllabus, full syllabus uh, test will also be there. I hope this is clear. Okay. So with this, I'm going to end the session. I'll see you in the next session. Till then, take care of yourself. Keep working hard and you know, keep positivity around you. I'll see you in the next session. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.